Alright everybody, welcome back. Now, we've got to... Down. Sort out a ghost or Keep something. your paws off her. This whole witch's life. Your witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight. What I would rather is what matters. Mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. This is very romantic. Fuck off. <laughs> Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? <sighs> oh no, we're not gonna steal. Come now, we're merely borrowing. Oh boy. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Uh -oh. mm, and we must be neat. Oh, cool. Did he just chop my shoes in half? He did, didn't he? I don't know. Made new ones instead. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft, supple neck. And a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. Mm 
You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool. But I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I like some of that nonsense. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this'll be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Oh, God. Uh. Ah, hello, world, I'm back. I'll uh. be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. <laughs> She's Beware gonna regret of the dog, here. Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgerd and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Oh, boy. Come. Time to meet and be greeted. Time to say hello. To be nice now. Yes? Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. Uh. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlop. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings, the brides especially, so fragrant, oh, so tasty. God, he's I could... right -o. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. 
And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. <laughs> oh boy, he's gonna get me so much trouble. Look at the fools falling over themselves! What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose. Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the swineherds, eh? What's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Alright. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there! <laughs> Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Oh boy. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. See that, Shani? I'm really penned. Hey, hey. Don't make me. That was easy. The old foolish peasants learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. Well, you get a piggy. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs to muck. You were a joy to watch. Alrighty. How does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Mm, tell me, Shani. What's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. I woo and woo, yet you do not succumb. So I can't help but wonder, what am I doing wrong? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type? Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Uh-oh. What is showing you Now, do? who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had
had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> oh, God. My sweet, you are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well, don't know rightly. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons in Novigrad. And how? <laughs> in Novigrad, Oxenfurt, why, in Kovir as well. Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. <laughs> Vestry, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers. And we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads, mutants calling us names! Stand down, swineherds, or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mighty drubbing. Now where's a plowing fence board when you need it? Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Oh, God. Are we seriously going to play knock the heads off with a piece of wood. Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass swineherds. Perfect fit for your job. You plowy jetwood. Alright. Oh. 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 So fiercely, step up. Who else wants a shave? Damned cretin cream to me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. Oh. 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 Well, that was fun. I guess. Had enough peasant spawn. Thought yourself a match for a Von Everett. A witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jack yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. <sighs> Your methods, quite unusual, to woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. A hazard of the trade, my love. I'm clearly a bit out of practice. But point out the next young miss, and I will gladly prove I... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. Ah, <sighs> fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. <laughs> 